Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn in the first day of spring. and I am asking many of them to come and change into better quality gear and kind of getting the inventory uh, used up of our of our uh, carbon armor so that uh, Connor can go make some more. Otherwise, Edmund is heading in to get something to eat. I sent Simon off there to go pick up all those things that they didn't bring in last time. So he had to go chase off a few pancoffs. So there's one over there. Yeah, chase that one away and bring that in. And I suppose after he gets something to eat, we should have him come back and transport some uh, some leather. Kind of clean up the last of that hunt. But that should give us red meat for quite a while, which... Do we have any more of the... Uh, oh, what are those called? The potatoes. The Chew roots. There we are. 312. That means we can make a lot of meat pies. Let's kick the meat pie quantity up a little bit more, too, since that's what we have a lot of. Research electric smelting. Okay. Um, now, do you suppose the electric smelter needs to be under a roof so that it won't short out? I would think so. I mean, it'll let you build a battery outside, but I think there was an issue with that. Hmm... Under a roof, what does that mean besides inside of the house? It means out here. We could eliminate one of these. Let's do that. Let's put a, an electric smelter out here and then compare to smelting and you know, what, what have you. Um, actually, we're comparing it to one of these guys unless we change our brick orders. Yeah, we could do that. Do we have any ore to smelt anyway? We do not. So... Hmm. We can get it built, and then we'll figure out later what to do with it. So you are there. Stockpile and deconstruct. Oh, and we have to deconstruct it. Okay. But that gives us a way to see what the, how the electric smelter compares to the uh, the fire-based one. The light the sticks on fire. Edmund is determined to go up there and transport something. Over and over again. He wants that leather. Okay, I'd rather have you constructing things, but okay, go for it. Simon's on his way back. I'm an, uh, Edmund must have gotten his uh, armor on. What did I ask him to get? I asked him to get the suit. He didn't. So there's still one available. There is. And there's leggings available. I asked Paula to get that. Yeah, now Edmund transporting. Okay. So, Paulette, in that case, you can get that one and you can get the other one. Leggings and the vest. I put her back to sleep. She spent the whole night walking out there to get meat so she can make a meat pie. She got back at dawn, so I sent her to bed. <laughs> anyway, we may have an attack today. It's been a while. So, see how that goes. Carter is doing what at the moment? He is... Yeah, quarreled with Kana about hunting techniques. He is down here to deconstruct because they like to deconstruct before they like to construct. But after that, we can get him up here working on these traps again and see if we can get this finish or preferably maybe get this wall rebuilt. That's probably more important. We have so many traps already in place that there's a good chance that they're going to be dead before they ever get to us. But I'd like to see what, what it looks like with those... Uh, Fences rebuilt his brick. And what's it take to get this guy going? Just metal alloys. And we have them, so it's just a matter of delivering them. Okay. Otherwise, he is down here. Probably pops these apart pretty quick. Yeah, he's a construction level 10 now, right? Carter, 9. And a, and a quarter. So, does this count? Does not. 5129 is just staying there. So deconstructing doesn't teach you how to construct, apparently. Um, can you haul these in while you're at it? Did you collect all this stuff? And of course, you may just drop it off right here, won't you? You probably will. Oh well. Let's leave the rest of this so we can concentrate on up here. Otherwise, he'll just come back and want to deconstruct again. All right, so Simon's back. He is delivering. Okay, so that's done. So Carter or. Edmund are going to get a, the order to do that. Edmund is bringing back a bunch of leather, or hides. So what is Umayar researching next? Force field barriers. Okay. 
time. Those will be interesting to see in place. We've got this gone. We do. Let's get the production electric smelter in here and we'll see how this guy works. You need... Oh, am I clicking on the wrong thing? There we go. We need stone and alloy, which we know now no longer... Now we still have 19. I thought we had 27 when we needed 20 here. Hmm, okay. So we have enough to give this guy a test. Um, I keep hearing noises. Must be building traps. Yep, yeah, there we go. Boom. Edwin's coming back. I saw Kana was in there tailoring. So she's going to get us caught up on the rest of our gear. Though, I'd like to make sure we have the rest of everything else too. But I suppose every time they swap out one of these, they leave a, a partial of something else. Yeah, there's lots of kind of pants and lots of uh, kind of hats. And <laughs> okay, that's fine. We'll swap everything out and pretty soon there'll be in nothing but armor. And then we'll be invincible. Carter is constructing traps. Edmund is walking through the traps. <laughs> All right, so what did it take to get one more of these guys operational? It is a CPU core and... 50 alloys, okay. 50. Well, after this next attack, we'll start uh, playing around some more with finding more ore. That's probably the, the next big challenge, as well as picking more of our fence lines to solidify. This was our, our test run, just to see how or what it would look like all perimetered off. And that was the requirement I had before we uh, went off looking for any more dogs. Let's take a quick peek right in our vicinity here. I know there's three species of dogs in the game. Ooh, you just kind of snuck in on me, didn't you? What you got here? We've got a boxer. Okay, well, let's mark you for tame. Rita is throwing darts. Her first priority... Well, it doesn't, look like, it doesn't look like a Rita anymore. Don't really care for the helmet, but it'll keep her safe. But her first priority, I thought, was farming. Is that... Maybe it's harvesting, then farming. Uh, activities, harvest, ranch, a uh, ranch, and then plant. Okay, so she's going to harvest, then she's going to ranch. Let's have her specifically go out and do this. Tame Boxer. Should we name him Boxy? <laughs> what do you name a boxer? Cardboard. Carton. Crate. <laughs> anyway, she's going to be a while getting out there. No, you ignored me. Okay. Well, I did tell you... I guess I right-clicked it. Or shift-clicked it. Okay. Let's have you ignore that piece. Simon can get it. Let's try that one more time. Tame Boxer without holding the shift button. And she's still going to transport. She is ignoring me. Did I not have her clicked? I didn't have her clicked. Okay. It's kind of frustrating. It still gives you the same option without a person clicked. So, it must be what I, what I did the first time. Alright, so you guys are the buzz shroom, buzz shrooms, and someone's been out here planting. Didn't finish, or we didn't have it lined up right? I think it's lined up right, just didn't finish. You guys are the, oh, the fruit bushes, so more of these, which I did see some of these up here were ready to harvest already, so we could go and sneak up, or sneak some of those. There's more further up. Tachyon source. Ah, that's not it. Where am I going? Over here. None of these are ready. Okay. Tachyon source. That has to do with that alien language. Our sensors are... Boy, Paulette just doesn't look happy, does she? Our sensors are reacting to repeating bursts of tachyon radiation. Through some effort in pinpointing, we're able to locate the source nearby. All right. Um, I'm not willing to send anybody out in a balloon at this point because I don't know when our next attack is going to be. But do we have a deadline on that? Balloon, expedition, tachyon source. 
right there. No sense of a deadline, just six hours away. Okay, so that will be one of our first missions after this next attack. So Rita's heading that way. Simon is... Just reloading one at random. Gonna go empty a stove. Yeah, he just takes care of everything around here. She's grabbing some more of the carbon nanotubes. While that's making meat pie, Simon's favorite. And now he's gonna go fill up one of our generators? No. Oh, he's just gonna go empty them. Okay. Boom, there's 80, just like that. 120. Wow. So we're back up to 200 again. And 10 more. 20 more. Alright. Uh, Carter Constructing Trap. That reminded me. Rita's out here. Trying to coax. Now oh, he's going to stay pink no matter what. Taming. Oh, so we're still thinking about it. I don't know about that. He's a cute little thing. Is that thunder? That's thunder. Yeah, we're playful. Boy, that's thunder. I think we've got a thunderstorm coming in. Or is it just this spot? Hmm. Taming succeeded one. Alright, you can now order survivors to lead the animal to a bed that's not ready yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> Alright, so... Remind me how to do this. Pet, heal, rename. I need to pick a place. So, clicking on you, I think I can... Right click there. I'm not sure. Rita. There you are. Can you lead Boxer? That was a strange sound. To here, if that's a thing. You're taming Boxer. I think Boxer's going to sit out there for a little bit. We need to quickly build a bed. So, I wish I'd thought of that before we did that. Last time we stuck him in a bedroom, because that's where we had the extra space. But then he had a hard time getting in and out of the, of the house. That's our door out. So if we dropped him into here, this is Rita's room, right? Yeah, okay, that sounds like a, an appropriate place. Rita's got, got boxy. And let's see, storage, ranching, animal spot. Which still is huge. Uh, we'll drop you right in there. And that isn't insta build, is it? It is. Just needs to be built. Okay. So that needs to be done. We need to get some slop going, but we can put some red meat in there right now. We can just have her manually feed them. So right now we just need this going. So who is available? I need a carter who's drinking coffee, and then he's going to go over and construct an animal spot. Okay. And Edmund, what are you up to? You are kicking a, uh, yeah, boom. <laughs> yeah, Edmund and Paulette, rain, not thunder, not lightning. Okay, so let's try this one more time. Dog, and right click there, and then Rita. And lead boxer. Is that happening? We're taking a walk. Mm. Had a lot of trouble with this last time too. She is busy taking a walk. Okay, draft, undraft, and. Planting. 
Okay. Already relaxed. You can't lead animals that are interacting with someone. The animal must be alive and conscious as well. <laughs> All right, who is interacting with the dog? Petting. Okay, Edmund. Lead boxer. Leading. Okay, I think we got something. But they do it at such a slow pace. Well, at least he was halfway there. Rita is planting. It is 2200. Yes, yeah, she. Oh, it's Edmund. She could use some food. She liked meat pies. Rita, hop in here and grab a meat pie. And that finishes your day. Paulette's playing the didgeridoo. Who we are is researching. Carter's reading. Kind of just finished something and commented the recent Heptagonia harvest. Yeah, we only harvested one. It's still laying on the ground here somewhere, right? Now I guess somebody picked him up. She is... That's Simon. Where did Connie go? Ah, she's gonna go play the handpan. Okay. Maybe we will get a music night again one of these days. Alright, so where is our... Where's Edmund? Reading. Where is our dog? I don't know. He's no longer pink. Okay. Ranching. Not there. Manage. Tamed animals. Double click. There you are. And you appear to be working your way in on your own. Can I assign? I can. Boom. I think that's enough to get you inside. All right. Now, we need a food bin. What do we call those things? An animal feeder. That seems like that can go outside. Um, I guess wood is wood will work. Inside or outside? There's no room on the porch. They gotta walk through there. I think that's their best spot, right outside the uh, outside the door. So that one, let's. Hmm. After playing Mountain Core, I want to click on it and and hit the higher priority and get it done. <laughs> All right, dog is moving in. Gonna go find his his uh, bed for the night. Let's see if he disturbs sleep when he comes in. I suspect it won't work that way, but let's find out. Dogs walk way too slow in this game. Alright. Happiness. No disturbed sleeps. Okay. And your food level. Hungry, negative 10. Alright. So... Rita, first thing in the morning, let's feed Boxer. So with that, they're all in bed. We'll wait to see what we uh, what we get tomorrow. Turn you off. You are ready to be built. You two are ready to be built. Most of the traps are done. Fence is not. But that's got to be tomorrow's priority. Now the rain is going to... Oh, never mind. <laughs> rain is going to uh, give all the crops a good boost. And Paulette's grabbing a breakfast. Edmund's waking up. Alright, any other dogs just happen to be around? I assume you can have more than one at a time. Though, of course, you got to be able to support them. Feed them and what have you. Train them. Got our dodo birds over here. Sleeping herd. So up in here if we need more meat. Alright, sun's coming back up. Stop stalling now. So you need alloy. We're less than 300 scrap metal. 
Hmm. Let's go ahead and do a scrap. Well, let's get this guy finished. Then we'll do a scrap run with one of each of these. Um, maybe this guy. They're all mirroring this one, so I hate to disturb that. Constructing traps. Carter, you're not going to get breakfast first? Uh, yeah, let's get you below 50%. And do we have more bread? We have one bread. That's Carter's favorite. Does he need it? His happiness is 100%, so... No, he doesn't need his favorite. He's doing fine. So Rita's feeding Boxer. What is she feeding him? No way of knowing. What's in your hand? Unknown. Do we still have slop? We still have slop. A lot of slop from a long time ago. I thought she would feed him meat. There is dried meat in here. What is she feeding him? Is there any way to find out? Does it give us an animation? Nope. No way of knowing. He's just gonna eat something off of the ground there, and I can't get in close enough to really see it. Oh. Dried meat. Three. Click on it. Ah. Okay. So, the last of the traps. Edmund, how are you doing? You're in great shape. Let's see if we can get you to build those fences that we couldn't get you to build before. Reconstruct those. Those. It only gives me two at a time. It's annoying. It feels like I'm missing a bunch. Let's see what he does. One tap, thankfully. It's real quick. Yeah, it doesn't let me do a whole bunch at, at once. Okay, well, I'll have to manually send him back. Because I skipped some thinking it would overlap. Okay, so when you're done, you're going to do this one, and this one, and this one, and that one, and that one. Okay, Carter went to get something to eat. So Edmund, when you're done, you can finish the traps. And we are done out here. So in that case, you're going to finish working on the roof. And these guys, Carter, I could have you... Yeah, when you're done, come get this guy going. Then we'll load these two up and do a little test. Rita is eating emergency rations because it was the closest food to you. And that's fine, I guess. Your happiness is 97%. So you don't need your meat pie. Alright, so how are things going? Over here, 20% already. This stuff does grow fast. Okay, good. Good to know. And those thumps. Yeah, I meant that you're done. You are constructing an animal feeder. Okay? Picking up all the wood that we uh, threw on the ground from the, the uh, fences. Uh, rebuilt them. So that gets that going. And then we need to set a limit. I guess we'll put all the... We could put all the slop in there just to get it gone. That'd be fine. Now he... The last one was set up in here and he spent his days out here this one doesn't seem to be automatically going outside I chose this spot because it was a quick walk right outside the yeah, yeah, back door here but apparently it's not quick enough all right so you let's see here yeah you want to be slop let's go with that till we run out and let's not allow any more orders to make more slop so you're done. Malfunction solar panel. That one. Okay. So Edmund is repairing the solar panel. Good job. We take electronics and three scrap metal. So we cannot use up all of our scrap metal. Okay, so we're up and running. You're transporting. You're transporting those. Okay. So let's get this going. I want that one right there. So let's take you off of mirror and set up a task. Let's see, to smelt scrap metal. 
And one time. Ten. Gotcha. So you're going to do this one. And then you're going to do this one. Do I have to turn it on? It is on. It's consuming 30. Wow, that's a lot of power. That's what I assume. That's the reason I didn't want to even uh, have any. So this one is probably just going to happen for this test. I want to know if they, if they go faster. I don't see how or why it would give us more product. So no bonuses that way, but let's just see what the difference is. No sense of a bar here yet. Um, 5%, 10 10%, 11%, 11%, 23 already. We did this one first, so that one's already way ahead, 30%, 22%. <clears throat> okay, so it's faster, but... Wow, does it take power. We're already dropping. Normally, well, are we running? We're running. And we have a discharge rate of 7. So we are no yeah, negative 15 on the batteries. Okay. So one smelter is enough to take us out of the positive range. You are 72% already versus 42%. So roughly twice as fast. Rita is planting. Good. So you are heading out over here and get these done. Then you'll head further down. Anything that's really important? Probably not. Chew root. I'd say chew root is in these beef berries. Looks like that's probably the first stage. I was wondering if there were seeds in the ground we couldn't see, but I don't get any sense there is. Now, that's a good shot. Got all three of them working in here. There goes Simon, doing all of his work. And we scavenge 15 somethings. What is that symbol? Oh, First aid kits. Carter? Yeah, transporting. So he went to work over here. And skip this one again. See, I've never turned these off. What is turning these things off? I don't get that. I've never hit the X on that one that I remember. Nor this one. Hmm. Okay. Well, this one is on salvage. That's salvage. That one's still on scavenge. And you are up to what? He's got your little dangling things there. He's kind of hovering and looking around. Carter, <laughs> you're walking around in a diaper. Okay, you need to get some pants on, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where were we? We were kind of over here, weren't we? So Paula is making, looks like a vegetable stew or something. What is she making? Can I click on, I cannot, I click on this. That is grain porridge. <clears throat> I cannot get out of these windows in here. Right click or left click. You have to click somewhere else entirely to get that window to go away. So what more do we need to add into this day? We've got a dog. I'm thinking he's boxy, but you guys uh, let me know otherwise. He's trying to eat through the wall. So can he get out of there? Guess we'll have to wait and see if he's uh, hungry again at some point. So... Was petted, tamed, good health, troubles. Not getting food. The other one said hungry, negative 10. So I guess that was right here. 
Anyway, this guy got done. He is still consuming. Even now? I guess so. Even when he's not running. Okay. Well, <clears throat> let's turn him off. Anybody still up and about? Umayaria, it's time for you to go to bed anyway, so let you handle this guy. Turn him off again. Set you back to mirror this one. And we get those going again. More rumbling out there. Carter scavenging. Oh, I guess it's only 8 o'clock. Ah, I thought it was a little, uh, a lot later than that. Okay. So Simon is bringing in a whole bunch of the sweet syrups. So I guess Rita had been out here. <clears throat> Speaking of Rita. Okay, the other energy crystal field we put in. Last one. And you're done with this whole area. You took the trees down too. Impressive. Okay, so this area is done. You're taking a walk. Good for you. Edmund is transporting more items we've left out here. Looks like we're pretty much done in this area. Yeah, all the last of it. Did all the last of the leather get brought in? Where am I? Uh, yeah, up here. So the leather would have been down in this area. I think so. So Rita is planting. What is mulch tube field? Oh, that's right. These are the ones that will rejuvenate the soil underneath. Okay. So I'll be curious to see how this works. So mulch tubes. Yeah, we read that already. So... They'll make 18 sweet syrup each. Hmm. Let you look through the, uh, the specs there. Run it away. Anyway. Day's about done. Kind of uneventful. Other than finding our, our second pooch. And they're all going to sleep. Interesting, the shadow on the wall behind him because of where the light is. <laughs> but yeah, they all seem a lot happier with a dog around. Even though we're bothering Rita. Yeah, that's a problem, huh? We need to find a common space. Don't really have one. It's too big to go in the hallway. There's no space left. There's all walkways. Yeah, too bad the, the sleeping mat is a 2x2. Two two. It's huge. <clears throat> okay, so that's down over there. You're getting something to eat. Carter's eating. I think we are just about to wrap this day up. We'll let them come in and do their thing. There's. Is he heading outside? He's heading outside. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so they're saying their goodnights, heading to bed. That looks like it might be a, I don't know, vegetable soup or something? Looks pretty green to me. So, what was... He's out here eating for the slop. Okay, we now know that he can eat. He can get outside just fine. Then he'll head back to bed when he's done. Kana is heading to bed too, and... I think so are we. So let's call this one done. Thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully a little more exciting next time. Bye-bye.